Welcome back. So before we actually start working with the actual code, I just want to give you guys the entire overview about the application that you're about to build within the next lessons. And this is the overview right here. Huge, huge application. But what you're going to do is actually going to start out right here by creating this REST API. Let me try and just zoom a little bit because that's where we're going to start out. Now you have the, the picture of everything. Let's just focus on a few parts. This is actually what we call the backend or the server that we're going to build. And right here is the good old console app that you guys have built in the last series. We're going to destroy that. We're going to remove that. Let me just try and I just made a small X right here. We're going to get that out of the way and, and just destroy that within this series. And instead, we're going to add this REST API that we just built last lesson. So that is now available. Now, what we're also going to do is we're going to, instead of using the UI to get information through the customer service, we're going to use a customer controller that's going to get information from the customer service. So everything down here is going to stay intact for now. And then we're going to actually start using instead of a console app, this program we built last lesson, instead of using that for getting and displaying information, we're actually going to start using a customer controller and a REST API that can then send information to the cloud. Now think of it this way. Whenever you guys went down here to get some information, you would actually end up printing some text up here in the program, right? So if we just had a look at our program, if I just run this, notice what actually happens is I take C sharp objects and I convert them actually into being text. So right now, notice if I list my customers down here, you'll notice that everything is being converted into text, just plain old text inside a console app. Now for the next setup, we don't want that anymore. We don't want a program that just prints the text. No, instead what we want to do is we want to take the text and convert it into something different called JSON. So right here, you'll notice that I have something called JSON. Let's just try and go over here. So notice the REST API is going to do the same thing in the console app, get the data, and then instead of actually converting it into um, simple text like you guys saw in the console app, what it's going to do for us, it's going to convert this into something called JSON. So we're going to have a look at JSON in the next couple of lessons. I kind of just want to show you guys um, the actual calls that it's going to make. It's going to write out here, it's going to create some JSON code and then that's what it's going to send to the wire. So just think again, instead of making good old text that, like I just showed you, we're going to create JSON information. And JSON is this. Let me just try and actually add a bit of JSON so you guys can see just a simple example of JSON. JSON is just something looking like this. It's just a curly bracket like this and then in there we're going to add like an ID. If this is a customer, I could add the ID for the customer and then let's just say 25, that could be the ID. And if it was, let's just get some more space right here and some more space here as well. And if it was uh, the first name, I could add that now as the next part in here. So first name, and that would be, for instance, uh, Lars, there we go. So this is, this is kind of JSON right here, very, very simple structure. And we could, if we have multiple objects, things will change a bit, but still the idea is exactly the same, that we are going to send this over the wire instead of actually showing a simple UI like we had before, we're actually going to start sending. So instead of the simple UI, we're going to start having this guy convert our data into not text, but JSON, and then send it over in this envelope. It's going to send this over the wire and anybody who wants to read the text instead of just showing it in a simple old text file right here, which is kind of hard coded in a way, I'm going to provide the data instead. And whoever wants to read my data, they can show it in an Angular application. They can show it on an Android device or an iOS device. They can show it in Postman, which we're going to do in a, in a lesson very soon. So the, the idea with the REST API is still to take the data from the customer service, in our case, or the pet service or whatever you guys have, and then convert the data into JSON instead and send it over the www or World Wide Web an internet, a network connection somewhere, it's going to send the data inside a small HTTP request and then it's going to send it as a response probably. It's going to send that to whoever wants the data and wants to use it for something, right? That's how simple it is. Now that's the big picture right here. So we're going to next lesson just have a talk about this HTTP request because that's a major thing of making this work. So let's end it right here. Now you guys have an idea about what we're going to do. We're going to get rid of this old UI where it was just a simple program, right? We're going to get rid of that and then instead we're going to have a REST API right here that we just built, use a customer's controller to call the customer service and get the exact same information like we did in the program early on. That's it for this lesson, see you next time, have fun.